Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this picture and they said they don't care about the font type. They're trying to figure out how to get this line between there in like white. It's really fuzzy. It's kind of hard to see. I've kind of already done it the way I would do it. Uh, there'd be a few things I might, you, you could do this a number of ways. I mean, one, because it's so fuzzy, I can't really tell. So I'm just going to do it my way or the way I did this. Uh, I'm less than a little bit more. I'm going to go 2.5 inches nudge. And I'm going to make a duplicate. I'm going to nudge that out of the way. And then I'm going to create a rectangle. A little bit thicker than as long as the box. And I'm going to fill it in with that same gold. So I'm using an eyedropper tool. I'm just going to get that gold. I'm going to put it there. Now I'm going to go, this is pretty neat with the interactive fill tool, what you could do. And I'm going to fill that in with that pink. So all I have to do is hold down the left mouse button and that'll come up. Well, click up basically and get your eyedropper tool for that and get that purple and put the purple there. So you've kind of, I guess I'm upside down. Um, we can change that. I don't really think it's going to matter. We did have the yellow up. Whoop. So now you got the purple on the bottom. And, you know, if you wanted a distinct color, you could do it. I might do it a, a second video on how to get a distinct color. But then with the interactive fill tool, again, let me zoom in here. And a lot of people might not realize, let me get it right in the middle. And then I'm going to get to that and I'm going to double click and I'm going to put white right in the middle. Now we need to put some other blocks. So I'm going to put double click there and double click there. And I am going to hold down that button and get the, I'm going to go back. Well, it's not going to let me, I want to hit escape. I need to get back to that color scheme. And I'm going to get back to the interactive fill tool and get back to my eyedropper. And I'm going to go ahead and take that. Well, I actually need the gold on that one I think I clicked on. And see, that made a more prominent line. Now I'm going to take that one. Take that. Whoop. I knew I was going to have to click off that. You really have to kind of click off of it and come back. And then take this one right here and get the eyedropper. I think I messed up. I think I took, I think I got the purple ball to go. And I, I need to make this the uh, yellow. So I'm going to select that one, get the brush, and get that yellow. There we go. So now we have a, a definite line uh, between, whoop, between there. And I've actually already got it at an angle. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, and you can you can still do some things with the interactive fill tool. Whoop. You could go right here and let's we'll see what happens if we smooth that out. Maybe it makes that line a little bit better. Now, if if I did not have put it at an angle, you can angle the whole thing. I'm going to get rid of my box now. Don't need it. And I'm going to bring in my text. Probably got maybe too much of an angle, but that'll work. Now you see it's in the back of the page to make this work. You got to go to object order front of page. That has to be on the front for this to work. And so I, if you notice, I moved that. So I'm going to make a new copy of that and move it over. Now I'm going to select everything and I'm going to go to intersect. And what that did is that gave us that. But I want this to be kind of a deep purple. So I'm going to right click my mouse and see where you cannot see the line thickness. Well, one, you could have 12, but two, you can go to object and convert it to a curve. And as soon as you do that, you get this. 
and we're gonna we're gonna call that good and see what happens. I might be a little bit too thick, but you could kind of tell the last thing you selected you ought to be good with. So see, you can change that. Now, if we bring in a yellow box, that's going to kind of look like, in a way, the original. They were more concerned about how to get that, that white line through there. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.